Neva is an elderly Namekian inhabiting demon realm, and presumably its only remaining Namekian inhabitant. He is the creator of the demon realm Dragon Balls. Neva's name appears to come from the Japanese term Niba Niba, which is used to describe foods that are sticky or slimy. This ties into Namekian's slug-themed name puns due to slugs having a slimy texture. Neva is, as described by Goma, a bit senile, but knowledgeable about the Dragon Balls. He is forgetful about various things, such as when he forgot his toothbrush on the ride to the outer world, as well as the last time he showered, which he recalls was when he tripped in mud years ago. Neva created the Dragon Balls of the Demon Realm, in addition to three terrifying beings known as Temigamis who protects them. Because of their strength, no one in the Demon Realm would be able to have a wish granted for a long time. Neva is chosen by Goma and Dejisu to go to the Outer World in order to use the Earth's Dragon Balls due to them being easier to obtain than the Demon Realm set. Wish orbs that come in a set of three and can summon an Eternal Dragon who can grant any wish that doesn't exceed his powers as long as it does not create love, repeat a wish he previously granted, surpasses its creator's power, and meets a few more restrictions as the dragon's power is directly linked to capacities of whoever created it. Neva is capable of sensing the location of Dragon Balls, as well as summoning them and restoring their wish-granting power before the necessary cooldown year has passed. The Dragon Clan's ability to create objects from nothing. Neva used this to create the Demon Realm's Dragon Balls and Tamagamis. Neva is Dragon Ball Daima is initially introduced as a goofy character in the Demon Realm, a Namekian who is slow, smells bad, and forgets things often. In the very short time that we see him in Episode 1 of Dragon Ball Daima, King Goma and Dejisu complain about how he hasn't showered in forever and neither want to sit with him. Once the trio of Demon Realm inhabitants arrive on Earth, Neva seems to have already forgotten the plan involving Earth's Dragon Ball despite King Goma going over the plan multiple times on the way there. But there are a couple of giveaways from Episode 1 that indicate Neva's probably a bigger deal than he's letting on. For one, he's the creator of the Demon Realm's Dragon Balls, and beyond that, he also created their guardians, three creatures known as the Tamagamis. We only see their silhouettes, but they're presented as Cayman Rider-like entities wielding different weapons and are presumably strong enough that people in the Demon Realm like King Goma would rather look for Dragon Ball elsewhere than tussle with them. Once the Demon Realm inhabitants arrive on Earth, Neva's power becomes more evident. He was brought to Earth to summon the Dragon Ball which were just used during Dragon Ball Z's Bu Saga, but restoring them from their stone form to a usable state was no problem for Neva much to the surprise of Dend. His reward for doing so was that King Goma would extend his life by 1000 years. Neva agrees, but he doesn't seem to care much one way or the other, so it's clear by his reaction, his appearance, and the fact that he mentioned earlier he hadn't seen a Namekian in thousands of years, that Neva has been around for a very, very long time. During the peak of his power, so far, where he calls up the Dragon Balls from around Earth, we briefly see his eyes turn red. In spin-offs like Dragon Ball Online, there does exist a red-eyed Namekian form where they can tap into a massive power source. That's not to say that this is exactly what Neva's doing here, but there's precedent to support the fact that this won't be the last time we've seen that glimpse of power. Considering how the first episode had all of these subtle displays of power and longevity, it's no surprise that people are already onto Dragon Ball Daima's Neva. People are already penning posts talking about how the show may have a big twist of a villain, and Neva is the frontrunner right now. He's a shuffling old stinky senile geezer on the surface, but his abilities are top-tier magic yielding for the Dragon Ball universe, another viewer said in regards to Neva's presumed facade. And he seems pretty indifferent to Dejisu decking Dend. The theme of Dragon Ball Daima so far is very much youth as well. Goku and company are getting turned back into kids, kids are being turned into babies, and even Dr. Arinsu who absconded to Earth on her own joked about having her own youth restored alongside the Z Fighters. Neva moves slowly and doesn't look like much now, but if he were to have his youth restored somehow as well, it could mean trouble for Earth, the Demon Realm, and beyond.